Hello everyone, this is Maloj. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll discuss and talk about SQL Server Stored Procedures. What stored procedure is, why we use it, and what are the advantages of using stored procedure over inline queries. All right, and how we can perform insert, delete, update, select operation using stored procedures. All right, so let's quickly open the SQL Server Management Studio. So I'm using SQL Server Management Studio and the version is 18. Uh, so I hope you have installed uh, your SQL Server. If you didn't install, then go to Microsoft.com and download and install uh, that SQL in your machine. So this is my local server name, desktop hyphen this slash SQL Express. So for your machine, it should be a different name. So select your server name and click on connect. So it will connect your local server. As you can see on screen, this is your object explorer. It contains all the database list, login and other features. So if I expand this databases, so it shows me all the system databases as well as whatever I have created so far. So if you expand this, so these are pre-installed databases, which are system databases and these are I have created manually. All right. Now uh, you can see there is a button new query click on it so it opens a new query window so here once you click on this new query it directly uh, take Microsoft uh, sorry master as a default database if you want you can create a new database but for this uh, particular video I'm using this master so let's quickly create a new table so let's say create table CRUD stored procedure. I'm using a random name. So identity and that is primary key name varchar agent addresses where care so hit the command so you can see command completed successfully if I try to select the columns select star from crud sp oops I misspelled the name but anyways You can see ID name age and address so for this particular table we'll create a stored procedure and perform all the operations so to create a stored procedure the command is create procedure and the procedure name so there are two keywords one is complete procedure and another one is proc proc so either one you can use so that is a shorter form so we'll use proc so create proc and then the procedure name so USP Let's say employee management has begin and end. So this is the outer body of stored procedure. So in this particular video, we are going to perform your select insert update and delete so what uh, basically we can do if you want we can create four stored procedures respective to each operation one for select one for insert one for update one for delete but instead of creating four uh, you know stored procedures we can create a simple one stored procedures and based on a flag or you can say based on a type we can differentiate for which block it should execute it all right let me show you how we can do that first of all let's add some variables so the first is id int and the name we are going to use the same uh, you know variables for the stored procedure Let's copy 
copy and paste it over here and use at the rate of with every uh, variable so for, for this stored procedure we are having four variables id name age address and last one is type so where cap 100 so now if here let me check if at the rate type equal select then it will go to this block begin and so let me copy this and paste if the type is insert then it goes to this block and if type is update so it will go to this block and finally if the type is delete then it goes to this block so simply for the select copy this command and paste it over here so if I pass type select then it goes to this block it skips these three blocks all right and if we type insert then it goes to this block so let's write the command so insert into the table name sorry I misspelled this so name age address values so if you are new to SQL server then I have created a complete uh, SQL basics video in my channel so you can go to my channel and go through that video it will you know give you all the basics to start with SQL server so let's say values is not this values for name we will use the name for age we will use age and for address we will use address all right so this is how we can insert data through a type so if we come to the updates so let's update the table so update the table name table name is this and then set set name equal to at the rate name age equal at the rate age and address is equal to address where id is equal to at the rate id so whatever id we will pass it will go to the table and update the respective records now comes to the delete part so here delete from the table name where we will pass id so based on id we will delete that particular record id so we are done with our stored procedure so let's select this complete block and execute you can see command completed successfully so we if you go to your master database and go to your programmability and here we have a separate section for stored procedures if you expand that right click on this stored procedure and refresh so you can see USP employee management here you can see that USP employee management and if you expand this so it will show you all these parameters ID name age so there is a block for parameters expand this so you can see ID name age address type you can see these five variables are available here so let me close this so now so we have created our stored procedure now let's try to call it so to execute uh, or to call a stored procedure we will use exec that is a short form execute execute then the procedure name and then we need to give the values of these respective variables so first we will call this select block so for select id should be zero and name is blank age is blank not blank zero because we have used integer 
for this age variable and address also blank and then type should be select so if I execute this command so you can see we got a blank table because as of now there is no record all right so now let me copy this same paste it over here now we will use this insert command so for that insert we don't we don't need to pass any ID column because we already use int identity so it automatically create a ID column or ID value so for name let me give my name and for age let me give my age that is not correct one and for address let's say India and type is insert if I select this command and execute you can see one row affected and if I try to execute the select so now we are getting one value perfect let me also add another value so we now we have two rows in our table perfect so now we will use our update block so let's copy this command and paste it over here and change the type copy and paste so let's say we need we, we want to change this name and this age all right or let's say we need to change everything name age India how we can do that so let's say we want to change name from Aradhya Deshwal to Aradhya only so let's give her the correct name and let's say age is 2 and here let's say Haryana India all right so select this command and here we need to pass a I already passed ID and based on this ID value it will search to this entire table and whenever it matches with the ID value it goes to that particular record and update all the values so for this we need to pass ID so Aradhya's ID is 2 so let's pass this 2 and let me change is to 5 so select this command and execute so you can see one row affected if I again select the records so you can see the values has been changed from Aradhya Deshwal to Aradhya age 3 to 5 address India to Haryana India so this that is how you can use your update command all right so let's also add another row and select your entire table so as of now we have three rows all right so now the last operation is delete how we can do that so select copy this command and paste and copy this delete if you go to that section so for delete we only knew need ID nothing else so let's say if we want to delete that third row with the ID value 3 so we don't need name value we don't need age we don't either need address but we need ID and type so select this command execute so you can see one row affected if you again go to their select command and execute so you can see that row with the ID 3 has been deleted perfect so this is how you can simply create your stored procedures obviously for your uh, particular requirement or project uh, details you should have different kind of variables over there but these are the basic operations which you can perform using this same pattern same format all right so this is about today's video i hope you like it if you did so hit the like button share comment and if you are facing any problem difficulty in your project or in your assignment so uh, you can connect with me on my instagram my instagram handle is open programmer you can also email me your uh, queries so you can find both the contact details in my channel description i basically do the paid services for interns and college students so you can connect with me for any kind of your query regarding react js you know a java script jquery sql server c sharp mvc web api so uh, for sure we'll connect and help each other so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye